Today I'm going to show you how to send MIDI out of an application like ProPresenter to an iConnectivity interface uh, and then out to a piece of gear that you have like a lighting console or anything that you want to control with MIDI and you want to have it triggered from the slides that you're using in ProPresenter or whatever software you're using to send out MIDI messages. Um, in this example I'm using ProPresenter as you can see and I'm going to be using a Mio XM to connect via Ethernet. Uh, so we'll create a network session for that. And then we're going to send out to, in my example, it would be a Quick Q20 from Kansas. Uh, so a lighting console is connected via DIM MIDI. So let's take a look into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Oracle for X series first. And I have my Mio XM connected with an Ethernet cable to this computer. So I'm going to go in and in the MIDI routing, I'm going to say that DIN4 is what's connected to this uh, quick Q20. So I'm going to just put Q20 as, as DIN4. Uh, that's one of the DIN port sets on the back. And so all we need to do is you can see that uh, DIN4 has a connection to the computer and to the RTP, but the most important part is having a connection from uh, the RTP back out to get to this lighting rig. So if you look at the routing in, you actually notice that DIM4 automatically goes as default routed to RTP4. So let's go down to, in the left column here, to RTP slash network and click on RTP4. And you'll notice that there's a routing also by default from RTP4 to DIN4. So I think this is the one that we wanna use. It's already set up for us. So all we have to do is connect RTP4 uh, to this computer. And how we're going to do that is by creating a network session on this computer and having our TP4 MIDI port connect to it. So there's not really any MIDI routing that we really need to do. We just need to make some connections. So I'm going to go and hit our spotlight search here. And I'm going to go to audio MIDI setup. And you can see I've opened the MIDI uh, studio window. Sometimes you may not see this. Uh, so you'll have to go to window and show MIDI studio if you don't see this by default. Then we're going to click on this little globe icon up here that says configure network driver and we're going to open this guy up now sometimes you this should be empty um, when you normally start it up but i have some things already connected so if you're doing this for the first time we're going to hit the plus button here to create a new session this little plus button uh, and make sure this in the bottom left corner this who may connect to me is set to anyone uh, if it's set to anything else you may have problems connecting after the first time so we're going to create a session here and maybe we'll call it, uh, let's, let's just call it lighting setup or uh, lights Q20 because we want to, this is going to be the connection between the Q20 and this computer. Um, so what I've done is I put it in as a local name. The local name is what's going to show up in ProPresenter or whatever software you're using. And the Bonjour name is what we're going to use to make the connection to the RTP port. So I'm going to click Enable on this. Then I'm going to go back to Oracle for X-Series. And under the Mio XM, which is over a little ways here, we're going to go to the RTP slash network page. I'm going to go find that RTP4 option that we had before. And I'm going to click on where it says Responder here and it gives me the option to switch it to initiator and that's what we want to do. This makes an automatic connection every time you start up from RTP4 or from the Mio XM to the computer and we're going to click save after we've put the name in which is the Bollinger name. We're going to click save and you can see I've already got a connection here real quick. If we also go over to the MIDI studio where we set this up and we click on the lights Q20 you can see that this has been connected from the Mio XM. Number four has been connected. Um, so if we go back now to ProPresenter, all we have to do is go to click on the ProPresenter up here, go to Preferences, and then we're going to go to, I think it's Devices. Yeah, Devices. Um, if you've never set up MIDI in this software, then you'll have to hit this little plus button right here. And it gives you lots of options of what you can send out. So we're going to go MIDI. And then you can type in whatever you want for the name. So you could type in uh, lights Q20, for example. Um, we could do an auto connect if you want. So hardware is going to be core MIDI because the XM is core MIDI device. 
and this should take a second here and they should pop up and so you have sources which is all the different connections that I have I obviously have a lot um, and then we have destinations so the destinations should show our new system but I may have to restart pro presenter because it was open before I made that so if you have pro presenter open before you may need to close it and reopen it so you can recognize the new network session that you just made. So let's go into here. Let's go to settings. And there's the lights Q20 in the source, but we want it in the destination because we're sending from ProPresenter out. So we just got to click on lights Q20. That's good. You can do your MIDI map if you want. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on that. If you want more information on that, you might want to check out Renewed Vision's website uh, and their YouTube to get more information on how to use ProPresenter in general. Um, so that's all good. So we're just going to go back and you'll hit connect. Make sure there's a little green line over here saying that it's connected. Then we're going to send a note out from this and it'll go from ProPresenter through that network into the Mio XM. And from the Mio XM, the MIDI routing is already done to go out to the Quick Q20. So that's how you would set this up. If you have any questions, feel free to contact at iConnectivity.com support. Thanks.